peaceful, lovely sun setting. Miss Dima. And I've just been doing my roses over there, you can see. Filling it with sawdust because uh, I initially had newspaper and mulch on top. But I've put the sawdust down now. It looks neater, keeps the weeds down, holds in moisture, keeps in the warmth. I hope it lasts because the chooks love scratching through sawdust. But even if they scratch it, at least um, the wood, like the sawdust, is on top. Oh, here comes the possum birds. Coming to feed before bedtime. <laughs> Beautiful blue skies. Just listening to all the lights. So after a day's work, this is where I just come and sit for a good 10, 20 minutes or however long I feel like it and just swing on and sit, soaking it all up. Life can't be all about work all the time, even though I do enjoy it. It's just lovely. So as you can see over there, my Acropolis. That's actually going to be my greenhouse and you can see that I've bolted in the base pieces of wood to start with. I know the planks look wonky but it's because they've bent with time due to the weather. And today you can see there's a bit of a fight going on. I'm scrapping over food of course. <laughs> you can see there those. I've got 12 more posts to start building the frame for the windows. I'll work out what I'm going to do with the roof later on. That intuitive spark no doubt will guide my journey. Rose is going dormant, or at least some are. Some are thriving. I love this cool weather. I'm going to get in with some more sawdust in here, perhaps tomorrow, and put it around the bases of each rose again. Keep them nice and warm. You can see my sawdust pile there. That's getting ready for more cuttings. I have cuttings in there, cuttings down in another one down there, and over here, right there, I have about 50 rose cuttings in there, covered in sawdust. Oh, having a little sneeze. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. <sighs> Shalaha. Just soaking it up. I was going to say garden ASMR, but that scrap going on over there isn't very ASMR-ish, is it? They come here every day and feed out of my hand.
beautiful big old stone wall and blooming hedge. UFO. <laughs> Joking. Blooming time. Farm noises. Farm ASMR. Everybody's getting ready for bed. Beautiful big old pine trees. It's definitely seen more than everybody living around here. Only if trees could talk. Well, they are talking, but not like in English. You should see this sky at night. It's just spectacular. We have some of the darkest night skies in the world here. Oh, I see. And the, the Milky Way right now. So since the planet has um, turned, the Milky Way is now coming. It starts off coming over, sweeping that way, and then it ends up sweeping that way. So, you can see how much the Earth's rotation is changing the trajectory of the Milky Way in the sky, or at least, I mean, obviously the Milky Way isn't moving, we're moving, but, yeah, oh, it's just spectacular, the amount of stars, and I've said before that around three or like two, three o'clock in the morning, if I wake up, Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes I see, I, I get cosmic eyes. It's so hard to describe, but I wake up, oh, there's Mama, Mama K. Well, you could see her. She's behind the greenhouse now. Anyway, I get cosmic eyes and like I can see so many stars. Look at her head. Maybe you can see her head. Look there. Hi, Mama. Um, and I don't know, I wake up and I can just see so, like, you know when you look up at the night sky and it's black and you see, you know, stars? Well, this whole sky is absolutely just filmy white it's like a foggy white because of so many stars it's it's just so hard to put into words it is just extraordinary and I suddenly become awake very quickly because I try and focus <laughs> on it and the more I try and focus the more I can't see it as well as I did when I first woke up it's unbelievable and I don't know if you can see it in other parts of the world I'm sure you can in places like Antarctica or um, like the Arctic Circle and Siberia perhaps I mean obviously it's going to be a different night sky but when you do see it it is breathtaking it's so stunningly beautiful and Everybody that says that our, you know, our night skies were created by, um, you know, some kind of huge, uh, I can't even think of the word, 
like a huge animation. But you, <laughs> that's just ridiculous. No human is capable of creating such majesty and divinity and just such beauty like that. It's just extraordinary. So I get lost in that and I love going out every night. Right now the moon is up and bright so I can't see too much. I mean I can still see but nowhere near as much as a dark sky on a new moon or at the end of a waning moon. Oh, the blessings of life. Such a blessing. And believe me, the more you are in nature, like this, the more you surround yourself with it, with Mother Earth, feet in the ground, the more you feel it, the more you resonate, the more it just soaks into your heart and it just never leaves. And then if you, you take yourself away from it, you just pine for it in ways that you never had before. It is, it's magic. And although, you know, my project, my journey here on this land, it's, it's early and kind of embryonic and it's early stages. Um, you know, the potential is, is great and it's beautiful. And even now I'm seeing results, but come five years from now, oh my gosh, I can't imagine how nice it will be looking. Oh, look. Hello, Mama Kay. Mama with baby. She's so beautiful. Oh, look, you can just see little Joey's head poking through. <laughs> what happens is when she's eating, baby will poke its head out and eat the grass with her. Can you see? Maybe you can see a little bit. Can't reach the grass. She's so gentle. I told her how lovely she is and how she's a good mum and she doesn't see me as a threat. She's known me for years. Isn't she beautiful? So, lots of wild animals. They feel safe here. They feel comfortable. And they just come. Oh, her pouch is heavy. <laughs> oh, it's like 10, cent 10 centimeters only from the ground. Be nice and warm in there. So this is a new phone, and I'm trying to... Hmm. See how she puts all her strength and balances on the back of her tail? It's like a... Well, it is her spine. I was going to say it's like a second spine, but it is actually her spine. Okay, girls, time for bed. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little quiet or bustling, wildlife bustling little relaxation without me in it, or at least seeing me, it's just nice to come to you with showing you more of my farm, what's happening, 
Lots of work, but lots of good work. It feels very good, very relaxing. Good night, everyone.